there she is look at her out and abroad oh I can't wait to hear what she has to say for us but before I unmute her I'm going to tell you that she's going to be one of our headliners at the festival so are you there Francis can you hear me hey Maria I Hi, hear you are you spreading, you are you spreading the word in Killarney about our lovely oh, festivals? We're, we're spreading the word. All roads lead to the stall for the story festival. So Yay. it does. I'm sure there's always great stories to be told and there'll be better ones to be told after it. So there will. Well, I'm, uh, I'm here in a corner of the car park. There's the only quite spot I could get. So <laughs> I apologise. Not at all. We're delighted you're here. You never miss. Me out. It was wonderful to hear the story of Dermot and Grania. And I don't know, are you aware that there is a hill between Listowel and Ballybunnan? Well, it's actually overlooking Ballybunnan and uh, overlooking the Shannon at the other side as the is kind of nestled under it. And it's called Canuck and Oar. And Canuck and Oar is the hill of gold or the hill of slaughter. And the Hill of Slaughter, that um, translation, uh, goes back to one of the stories of Dermot and Grania, and that one of the major battles were held on that hill overlooking Ballybunnan, Canuck and Oar. So Dermot and Grania in their travels, they had to travel all over, and they say Crag Caves and Castle Island, that they found shelter there in days of yore as well. Well, now, I suppose we're here and we're the end of August here. The big pattern day was the day in uh, Valley Bun in there, the 15th of August, where there'd be music and merrymaking and dancing. And um, this song was often sung there. Uh, it's from uh, one of John B's uh, plays. With your hairy eggs and bacon and your hairy eggs and ham, a little I knew what I had to do with Brady's up Kellen. I worked down in Kerry in the place they called the Strand. Tis there I hired for nine long months with Brady of Kellen. He said, Come along now, Johnny, you're with a decent man. Sure, little I knew what I had to do with Brady of Kellen. With your hairy eggs and bacon and your hair eggs and ham. All little I knew what I had to do with Brady of Kellen. When I went into bed that night, it was loudly I did ball. For the fleas, they made a strong attack, me kidneys for to haul. With scratching and with itching, me skin grew like a ten. Sure, I roared and I bawled and I kicked the walls with Brady's of Kellen. With your hairy eggs and bacon, your hairy eggs and ham. Oh, little I I knew what I had to do with Brady from Kellen. Now, that is from one of John B's great plays. Um, it's called The Buds of Ballybunnan. And the Buds of Ballybunnan, Bud stood for Budera. It was rough country people. And when the 15th day of August was over, Pattern Day, when the hay was saved, and like they say down here, the hay saved and cart bit. Oh, we're going to rise one of these days. And when the hay was saved and all the harvest done, they'd come usually the end of August, the month of September. They'd come to eating houses and lodging houses in Ballybunnan. And that play by John B. records one of the last lodging houses. And they'd come and they'd bring their, their chicken eggs and their duck eggs and their cabbage and their... Um, turnips and spuds and bits of bacon with him and um, the lady in the lodging house would cook it for him. So I suppose there was good times long ago as well as now and people went on holidays. They took, I suppose that was the Airbnb that they had. <laughs> but uh, I sing another bit of a song. It's about a servant boy as well and it was Hard times the servant boys had long ago when they were working for farmers. And uh, it's called the Galbally Farmer. One evening of late, as I chanced for to stray, it was taught Tipperary I was making me way to dig the potatoes and work by the day till I hired with a Galbally farmer. I asked him how far we were bound for to go. The night it been cold and the north winds did blow. I was feeling fatigued and my spirits were low. 
I could neither drink whiskey nor porter. This crafty old villain, he mounted his steed, for Galbelly mountains he posted with speed. Twas little, I thought, my feet they would bleed to be trudging along with this miser. When his place of abode, sure I entered it first, it looked like a kennel or an old preaching church. Bad look to misfortune, I'm caught in the lurch, discontented with Darby O'Leary. From what I had seen, sure I well understood, me bed in the barn, it wasn't too good. The blankets were made at the time of the flood, and the sheets they were made sometimes after. Twas on this old villain I looked with a frown as he brought in the straw for to make my shake down. Should sure, I wish that I'd never seen Galbelly town or the sky over Darby O'Leary? It's well I remember t'was Mikkel Miss Knight to a hearty good supper he did me invite to a sup of sour milk Sure, twould physic a snipe and would give you the trotting disorder. The milk was so sour, twould poison the cats. When I entered his barn, twas crowded with rats. Oh, little I thought that this would be my lot to lie with his brutes until morning. Well, early next morning, I opened my cell and I straight took my way to the town of Clanmel. His bed and his blankets, I pitched them to hell, likewise to the Galbally farmer. I've worked in Tipperary, the rag and rose green, the moth of Kilfeekle, the bridge of Aleen, at Palace and Dula and Bally Kishteen, with decent, respectable farmers. I've worked in Dungarvan, I've worked in Tralee, I've worked down in Kerry and Darren agree, but such woeful starvation I never did see, as I got from the Galpally farmer. Tithery out, out, tithery out, out, tithery out, out, and da. Tithery out, dad, and tithery out, dum, tithery out, dum, dum. Tithery out, dad, and tithery out, dum, tithery out, dum, dum. Bad look to the Galbally farmer. Now, folks, enjoy your Emily house and keep the spirits up. You're doing mighty. And uh, and unmute myself even. So Francis, thank you so much. It was lovely to see you again. And I'm I'm really looking forward to being with you on the story road at our lovely festival, which will be the 17th to the 19th of September. Mwah! <laughs>